Hey everyone, this is Frugal Panda here with a quick review of the Blue Eddy Portable Power Station EV70S. 800 watts, the peak is 1400 watts. Solar generator, 716 watt backup. It has LiPo battery pack in it with four 110 AC outlets. And it has the LiPos, LiPo 4s in them. The, those are the ones you want. I got rid of the Jackery because I did not have the LiPo 4s. That means it has a longer cycle time in regards to its lifespan, and which is a big deal. A Jackery, using it all the time, may last you three, four years. This can last you a lot longer because it can be recharged many more times because of the LiPo 4 batteries that are in it. This cost me $529 or $530. Free shipping through Amazon. It is, uh, I thought it was a great deal, especially for the wattage I was getting with it. I think I spent when I first bought the Jackery 240, $240 or so for that. So 500 bucks, I'm getting 800 watts. Heck, I'll take it. No longer worry about my refrigerator or anything like that. And it also has pure sine wave um, abilities, which means it can be plugged in and charging while also running whatever you've got going on from refrigerators to just charging your phones. So you don't have to unplug it while it's charging. Um, you can leave it uh, plugged into your solar panels or whatever else and charge or run whatever you want to. On top, it has a wireless uh, cell phone charger and it does work. I wanna say I was pulling about 15 watts out of it. Be mindful though of the case you have on your phone. I have a really thick case, so sometimes it took a lot of moving it around to make sure it caught charge on it versus my son's phone, which has a thin, uh, just an average case. You put it on there and right away it started charging up. It had to do more so with my case because once I pulled the case off and tried it, there was absolutely no issues and it charged with the case on. It was just a little more finicky. It comes with a bunch of different wires and adapters for it for solar panels and things of that nature. Um, the charger on it, be mindful of the charger on it when you plug it in. It is loud. It has built-in fans, so it is, is louder. So that's something to be mindful of, but it also pushes quite a bit of watch back into it when it is plugged in to the wall and you're using an actual wall charger with it. There's dual fans in it. So it does have noise with in regards to that when you're using those. So this will can recharge from 0 to 80% in about 3 hours. On a wall charger it has a max input of 200 watts that you can put in it either from your ac wall outlet or solar panels uh it was it was really packaged well it came in two two boxes a box within a box as you can see i had it plugged in to um, my lamps all night all night worked excellent of course that's nothing really to draw for something this size a 800 watt power station fans on either side of it you can see the label in the back. It's hefty. It's a big boy. It's a lot bigger, of course, than a Jackery 240. It'd probably be on the par with a Jackery 500 in regards to weight, but don't quote me on that. I'm not really for sure. So I, I tried a couple of solar panels. That one in the back, don't mind that one. I got to get an adapter for it before I can test it. But I checked. I tested this 20-watt solar trickle charger that I have. I've used it with the 240 and wouldn't even register it like how much wattage was pulling in. The day was okay, the sun was pretty decent today. But I hooked it up, plugged it in, and I wanted to see, well, what can it pull? Will it work with this, this little tiny cheap thing? It pulled two watts, everyone, two watts, two watts. Yes, two watts, claiming 20 watts. So like I said, be careful of those little cheap solar panels like that unless you're going to use them just for your battery or something, because it's not even trickle charge. If I was getting 20, okay, if it got 10 watts out of that little thing, I would be a happy camper. Okay, they, they you know, tricked me a little bit with the numbers at 10 watts, but 10 watts is usable, but 2 watts? Come on, guys. Amazon needs to do something about folks like that that put that type of stuff on there. But as you can see, still pulling 2 watts, and I moved it around multiple times. I plugged in a couple of my, uh, I have a 20,000, and a 10,000 mAh battery that I plugged in. I plugged a phone in too, but the phone really didn't draw anything, an old cheap phone I had. So what I did is that's a 20,000 watt MIDIA, M-I-A-D-Y, or MIDI, it might be MIDI, in, and it pulled nine watts. Then I plugged in a 10,000 watt MIDI, M-I-A-D-Y, 
in there too. And I believe with both of them plugged into it, into the USBs, it pulled about 19 watts. Altogether, the Blue Eddy has over, what is it, 14, I want to say, excuse me, 12 outlets on it. 12 outlets from USBs, 4 ACs. Um, gosh, it's got a lot of stuff on it. It's got a flashlight. I never used the flashlights. Did test it. whoop de woo it's a, it's a flashlight on a generator. It's there if you really, really want to use it. Personally, I'll never use it. But it's not to say you won't, but it works fine. To turn off the little each power thing, because you push a little button on each side, you can see in the video right there, uh, each one has it. So when you turn it on, it will light up like green. Hold it down for just a second or two, and it will power off those certain outlets like the USB or the AC if you're not using them. And I surmise it has built-in wear to cut them off on its own too. Also, that flashlight is LED, so it doesn't take a bunch of um, power either. It's, this is good for 2,500 plus cycle, life cycles of recharging. It's like double what a Jackery is. And also, halfway charging does not tr count as one charge. It counts at like a half a charge or whatever. And that's how it works in regards to that. And that's why I got it because I was like life po. I was like, I kind of I had a little bit more. Um, I believe this one would work a lot better for me. Also, it has a 24-month warranty with it. As you can see right there, I have a 70 watt sun solar uh, panel. I've had that panel, I think I bought it in like 2014, 2013 or 2014. It's over eight years old. This thing, man, it's good. And you see it's kind of dirty. There's the sun. You see how it's cutting it off a little bit? But I plugged it in. I got to do something with this solar panel because it's been so dang uh, dependable. It's still pulling 65 watts, everyone. And I don't have it exactly at the greatest angle. It's, and it was a little bit of clouds every once in a while over the sun, too. But it was pulling 65 watts. Can you believe that? Anyway, I highly recommend this Blue Eddy uh, 800 watts. 529, 530. They have one for 600. I wouldn't get the $600 um, dollar one. It's just a color. I got the black one. The black and the red are 530. Anyway, highly recommend it. It's a beast. Anyway, everyone, thank you for watching. I'm really excited to take this with me camping, knowing I don't have to worry about my refrigerator or anything I bring with me. Have a good day. Thank you very much.